Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to show you how to solve the 2 by 2 by 3 Rubik's Cube. So the method I am going to be showing you all is one of the most popular methods and I think it's the only method. I am not sure. So it begins by making a face and then the other face is automatically solved. And then you look around the cube and you'll get one out of a few cases and then do the algorithm for that case and then you look around the cube you'll get one out of few cases but in this one i just skipped that so that was lucky but usually you'll get something maybe like this so you have to do that algorithm and then it will be solved so the first step is making a face so it's actually a really easy way if you know two by two but only using double moves which is a bit weird but the best part about it is you cannot twist corners so the corners cannot be twisted so even if you do an algorithm that twists corners it doesn't do anything so the first case is where you get a l shape or like three corners solved on the bottom and one at the top then make it into the l shape like this so that this slot is in the right down near you and then make sure this one is left near you and then do this algorithm r2 u prime r2 so that solves the layer i mean the face and the next case is whenever you get like two bars then just align the bars so that they are one bar is on one layer and one bar is on the other layer and then just join them and then for the next case where you get some sort of diagonal case on the top or on the bottom and on the other side there is this bar so then just hold the bar on the left and then do a r2 and then you'll get a this case which i showed you guys how to do so now after you finish the faces then look around the cube and look at the only the top layer and at the bottom layer you don't need to care about the middle layer it can be anything so now if you find only one bar then hold it to the left near you so if it was like this then hold it over here left down near you then do this algorithm r2 u r2 u prime r2 u r2 u prime r2 so that solves it so now for the case where there's two bars, one at the top and one at the bottom. Then you hold them both at the front and then do this algorithm. R2, U prime, B2, U2, R2, U prime, R2. So now for the case where there's a layer, then hold the layer at the bottom. And if there's a bar on top, hold it on the left, then do this algorithm. R2 u r2 u prime r2 f2 u prime f2 u f2 then if you get this case where there's diagonal swap on the top and there's a layer on the bottom then just do that algorithm the last case algorithm once and then that makes a bar then we can do the algorithm again So that solves the top and bottom layer. And then there's one more case in which no bars at the top, no bars at the bottom. Then you, this algorithm is like super fast. Just do R2, F2, R2. Next we'll move on to step number 3. After the top and bottom layers are over, then just we have to solve the middle layer. So mostly we'll just be doing R2 and slice moves. So for the first example where there's no bars anywhere, then just do go to a random place or be at the starting place and do R2. And then if there's a bar over here, then yeah, then wait until I get the bar. So if this bar if the bar comes, 
then wait for some time but if the bar is not there then rotate to some to another place and then do r2 and now when the bar comes just move it this side or this side any side you want so i'll move it this side and then do this then it will either be solved or you will get this case which i'll show later so for this case where it looks solved on two sides but it's not solved so then you just do r2 e2 r2 and now for the case where these two are swapped then hold them on the right and then do this algorithm r2 u2 r2 u2 u2 r2 and then do u2 now this is the rarest case of all of them where you do a slice move no bar but when there's no bar at the starting, you do a slice move, there's no bar. And rotate to sometime, to some other side, do a slice move, there's no bar. Then, now, you don't need to check all the other sides because, of course, it will be the same thing. And then, just do the slice move. And then, pretend there's a bar here, move it some side, and then do the slice move again. Then, you'll get this case, in which two are swapping. So that's all for today guys and I'll see you all next time and I want to say happy Mother's Day because it's Mother's Day.